Okay. <clears throat> uh, so I'm recording two videos on the same day. Uh, this is a little bit after uh, the RTA video I just recorded. Um, like I said, I kind of wanted to do a little bit more um, like Guild War stuff just because I feel like there's more units that we're using now. Um, obviously, the last time I just kind of ended up using the same ones, but um, we're going to try to give it a try and, and see if I use more. Um, uh, this is our defense right here. So uh, this was last time, which funnily enough, the top one won again, uh, and the bottom one did not. So <clears throat> this bottom one, this bottom, I think the the Landy, uh, the Landy FCC defense is kind of falling off a little bit. Because um, you can you can put a lot of things here. What I used to have here was my um, uh, my Cerise was here in this position. That really did the best out of all the other ones because I know people run like T Surin. Uh, people run um, so T Surin. There's I've seen carrots and 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 other things there like uh, real lose usually have been there too, and they're they're kind of hard to deal with. Um, and I think I'm just gonna have to figure out what to do about this one. But uh, yeah, I think this defense is falling off a little just because. For one, I think what I'm going to do is is switch my Landy's gear to make her more bruisery. Uh, just give her more defense so that her barrier stays up longer. Uh, maybe drop the attack a little bit uh, and make her a little faster as well, so she can just like cycle a little more. Um, but yeah, we'll, we'll, I mean, I might go over her build in a little bit and, and see what's up. But right here, apparently, this top team is unkillable. Well, we'll look at that one. Um, we won here, so I'm assuming. He went S3, maybe missed the Rylet or the Violet, and then probably didn't land on her because she has too much effect resistance, and then probably landed on her, and then she went to do whatever she went to do, and maybe one was on her, maybe it was two, and her job was here to like extinct one of these people, but I, I don't know, um, because I, I'm well, I imagine it was her, then her. And the bombs hadn't blown up yet, so the bombs were on everyone, and they hadn't blown up yet. And then she came to hit one of these, and then none of them died from, a, like, no one took the one shot. Because he probably, either he dodged or they were just too tanky. Um, so then she went to put the bombs, the bombs were already on, because she her S2 passive triggered. And then, I don't know, I don't know what happened here. Um, they only ended up losing this unit, and he just kind of left. Um, yeah, that, yeah, there was a lot of AoE here. There was this, and there was, oh, maybe she, she AoE'd, and then, like, he... She like just took her out some way somehow I don't know yeah um, it's not really worth going into too much but yeah the, the the bottom defense has been failing me a little more so I gotta figure out what to do about that uh, looks like our looks like our um, our strategy of attacking a little later is not I mean it's not even like that late in the day we're probably halfway through um, the day for like the guild the guild war thing like. It's going to be set in another like 12 hours or something. All right, so there's no half taken down. So let's give somebody, we're going to, well, actually that one's about to die. Uh, you know, so for future guild wars, like for any of you out there, like, you know, wanting to know how to be a better guild member, like don't attack. So, well, I guess there's no examples here. So like my tower, right? If somebody has already messed up, don't attack it like when that when the hp is this this level right here don't attack this tower um you want to attack either full towers or towers that have already been hit like if if you could take this down one attack then go ahead right um uh i mean you know the towers i'm talking about so you either want to attack a full tower or a tower that's taken a hit already and you can take it out in one because every tower should only take two attacks to, to take down um, in terms of like higher level guild war, like if your tower for some reason, like mine, took one hit, it take it's gonna take three more, like three more people at their best to take down my tower, right? Or two more people, so that's three attacks wasted on one tower, when you could have had two attacks and one for somewhere else, right? So that's important to realize. Um, yeah. So I guess I'll take this tower out. Hopefully, no one's attacking while I'm attacking. Um, so we are going to bring you, uh, oh, that's why it's so quiet. I was like, why is it, it's like insanely quiet. Let me turn on the, uh, uh, there we go. Um, let me turn on the, unmute everything. I, I always play like it unmuted because, um, 
I don't really, there's nothing to listen to. The music's fine, but it's not like I'm going to listen to the music. Uh, so we're taking him. We're taking... Yeah, we're taking him. I'm taking you. And I'm taking... Where is... Where is she? She's right here. Okay, so what, what's going to happen here? Um, sometimes it's good to play out the first turn, like before you kind of lock in, even if it doesn't look a good idea. Uh, so she's going to hit us. We're all going to get debuffed. His, his, his E isn't going to be able to trigger yet, but we're not going to kill him yet anyway, so there's no reason to worry about that too much. Theoretically, so the tricky part is who's going to go first. It doesn't really matter too much who goes first, because no matter who's going to first go first between the, these two, they're going to hit him anyway. We're going to get boosted up. Um, hopefully she cleanses by then, or she cleanses herself by then. I can S3, and then um, the S3 will hit him, and then he can follow up and kill him. Hopefully that's how that goes. Uh, we'll find out soon enough, though. Um, so this team down here... Oh, this is actually my team. I want, did I take that from anyone? I feel like I took that from someone. I feel like that wasn't like my original thing. Um, so what I do to these comps is I just bring Landy. Like, you can you can bring whatever. Oh yeah, it's already there. Uh, you can bring whatever like was on the. You know whatever you saw in that like whatever, that they used against me with a with a. Uh, well, actually, they both lost against me. Never mind. But you can. Use, I mean, you, can, you know whatever you feel like works. But I just bring Landy because Landy doesn't let either of them counterattack. And she's going to get her S3 off a lot more. And, like, I don't have to worry about, like... I can S1 her until she dies. And then I can S1 her until she dies. And only S3... Like, by the time it, he's by himself, he's taken so many S3s that he should be easy to kill. Um, theoretically, so that's kind of what we're doing here. Um, yeah, let's just go in there, I guess. Okay, so this, yeah. Okay, so Arbiter's going first. And he got the gab. Um. Let us. What to do, what to do. So just hit you. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to do this. Cleanse everyone, and then we're going to kill the Arby. I'm going to try to kill the Arby anyway. Okay, so we're gonna. Oh no! Oh, this is bad. Um. Okay, well, we, we're gonna get the heal anyway. If he doesn't die, I mean, you know, whatever. He already got his S three off, so we'll just hit him. If we take like one extra S one or something, then it's not that big a deal. Oh, cool! We got the dual attack there, so that's thirty like something percent. Uh, so now we get to take this off, and hopefully we kill RB. Yep, he's dead. So there we go, that wasn't too bad. We just bring a really tanky team and like we all survive. Uh, the next priority needs to be to kill the Angelica so she doesn't like strip us all again. Oh no, I guess, yeah, right now we should focus on Arbiter. Um, or not Arbiter, we should focus on her. So I'm gonna kill her real quick. Uh, Arbiter is gonna die to like, I don't know if he's gonna die to this, but yeah, he's gonna die. Just from incidental damage. There we go. Um, this team seemed kind of interesting. So there you go. This is a good example of like a new team that like wouldn't have used normally. I wanted. I, what I really should have done was brought Maid Chloe into that to see how my Maid Chloe fares against people at this tier of like um, arena. But whatever. Okay, let's do this. As long as I'm holding this spear, I won't back down. Wait a minute, everyone else is speaking in Japanese. Fallen CC doesn't have a Japanese voice actor? That's kind of weird. I didn't know that. There's no reason to use the S3, so, well, I mean, you kind of want, I mean, you still want to use the S3 for the cycling purposes, but whatever. Well, uh, let's just hit you. See, she's an AoE counter. 
So right now, so if you're if you're if you have Landy, basically if you have Landy and like trousers or Landy and like um, CC or really well, honestly, you could bring anything, right? Landy and any tank, maybe Crow, like Crow is often better here because uh, Landy is not going to get targeted by her because she's grass. She's not going to get targeted by him because he's um, he's looking for water. So if you if you don't have Amelia, you can put Crow here and he'll just put all his damage into Crow and then just put something else like in, in the third slot, something you know. A healer, uh, like Maid Chloe, or, or just anything else, and that's kind of you know, if if anyone's having trouble with this comp, I didn't know, I didn't realize this comp would be more like would be as a uh, as common as it was. I mean, I have it, and this guy has it. I mean, it's not like it's everywhere, like uh, Fallen CC, um, T Cern, whatever. But it is still weird how um, it is still weird that it, it's here. Um, so again, like I said. Um, if you're taking this comp, you can bring, uh, you can bring, um, what's her name? Uh, Tenebria, Spectre Tenebria into this as well. And you're, you're gonna be pretty solid. Um, let's just get this barrier around her, just, just to be safe. There's no reason not to be, um, safe here. Uh, now we boost up you. Now we're going to kill you. So he's actually healed quite a lot. I think we hit him, didn't we hit him with one S3 at one point? And now he's back to like basically full HP. Um, let's kind of look at what kind of stats we're looking at on this guy. Ooh, hopefully he doesn't kill me. Oh, I actually flinched on that one. <laughs> that was sad. Okay, so let's see if she dies. Let's see if we can kill him. Okay. So we're gonna do this. I actually probably shouldn't have soul burned that, but that's fine. Okay, so this is why I, I use her against uh, Violet. Because a lot of times she does so much damage even through miss. Like, even if both of those had missed, he still would have died. Um, so... Landy is not only really good against Violet because he can't counter her S3, but a lot of times you can just do so much damage through his evasion that he'll just die anyway. Um, so that, that's something to consider for a lot of you. And the reason I know, um, well, not 100% know, but the reason I'm so confident in that is because I've been fighting uh, Riolu since he came out like this. Um, I, I haven't brought in, like, um, what's it called? <laughs> Let's see, what do we do up here? I haven't brought in, like, a... Um, What's that other, what's that unit called? Like a flurry or something like that or something like, I haven't brought any like weird tricks. I just kind of sit there and hit him until he dies. Um, and usually FC, <laughs> pardon. Uh, usually FCC kind of facilitates that anyway. So there you go. Um, that's kind of that. So up here, I am going to take the same thing I usually take is uh, my all fire team. Uh, well, actually I want to bring you, well, actually she doesn't have an artifact, so never mind. We're not going to bring you, um, and we're bringing you. Well, actually, you know, hmm, I think I'm going to, actually, you know, yep, yep, yep. I'm going to bring, hopefully she doesn't die on us. I'm going to bring you, because I've been having way too much fun using Mercedes. Um, down here, uh, let's see. I think I'm going to bring, yeah, I think I'm going to bring Crow, or ML Crow. Obviously, we're obviously bringing you. I'm gonna bring. Um, where's Moonlight Crown? There you are. And something else. Something kind of interesting. How about. Should we just bring Arby? Would that be fun? I can really bring kind of whatever I want here. I mean, this last position is is not that uh, big a deal. Um, just kind of trying to think about what I want here. I could even, I mean, I could even bring, I guess I could bring you if I wanted to. I kind of just want to bring Maid Chloe though. 
um, just for like 100% safety, but there's no reason to be that safe. Um, let's see. You know, I'm just gonna I'm gonna bring uh, Kawazu. Hopefully, he doesn't die, but um, there's a good chance he will. <laughs> uh, yeah, let's go ahead. <laughs> oh no, my whittling hand. Um, let's. Um, so here, here's what you want to do. Usually you want to uh, burn this S2. Let's see. On You just want to waste the S2, right? There's no reason to S3 right now because we're not going to break the CC barrier and um, pushing them back isn't that big of a, a deal. But you want to do this so that um, either... There we go. Uh, so that either... And we they, they strip the barrier... So that, I, so that they don't target um, her any anymore. Cause like, the thing is, my fallen CC or my my Mercedes and my Carrot are both pretty tanky. So uh, you wanted to, to focus this other one so you can get counterattacks or you can get burns and whatnot. Um, so here's the this that's gonna hit us. Okay, so now I get to do this. Obviously didn't do that much damage, but that's fine. And she's dead. So my attack buff is gone again. I think I have I shown. I feel like I've shown this a hundred times with uh, Ravi, and it usually works out. But now we're apparently just getting crit by everything. Um, let's hit you again. So obviously Mercedes is gonna die again. Uh, that's not so bad. <laughs> I gotta stop doing that. I, I was listening to the other one and it's just like it, it's obnoxious. It's, it's it's like every time. Um, let's kill you. Well, this is a lesson for next time. I was like, ah, eh, you know what? They're probably pretty interchangeable, uh, but obviously they are not. <laughs> Nah, she's dead. Um, she's gonna cleanse, so we're just gonna hit her with this. And I can hit her with this. Let's see if she dies. Ooh, and then I get to hit her with this. So we still won, but it was kind of sad that, you know, what happened. <laughs> Uh, but I mean, as you can see there, Ravi usually survives that, um, and then I'm still three on three. Um, but this time, I underestimated how much damage they were gonna do, um, and they all just kind of funneled it right into her. So that's fine. So we're doing this so that when this happens, um, we're getting free uh, Crow S2 stacks as well as. Um, getting our immunity online and my phone needs to die um, so what I'm gonna do now is probably just kick you in the face <laughs> wow she cleansed one um, let's eat the apple Uh, let's... I'm gonna need to focus on her, because she's gonna be annoying. Okay, so the last person you kill in this rotation needs to be the Rem, uh, because the Rem is gonna AoE right now, and she's gonna hit... Um, she's gonna hit him anyway. Here's the counter. And we need her to AoE more, so we can get more, um... Kawazu, uh, whatever's... Uh, let's just put some burns on you if I can. Nope. Uh, let's hit you. So this is kind of in contrast to uh, what I had said during the... Um... Oof, so he's dead. He was kind of worthless, I guess. Um, who was laughing? Somebody was laughing. Is that, is that Does he make that laugh when he dodges? That's hilarious. 
Anyway, the point being was this is kind of in contrast to what I said during the, um, the RTA video where it's like, oh, if you're going to bring Violet, you want him to kill her in one shot. Here, it's not so bad because I kind of figured everyone else was going to die. Um, let's see. Let's kill you. Um, everyone else is going to die. And the biggest threats are going to be her hitting me and her healing everybody. Like, as you can just see, she's already back at max health. So kind of defeated the purpose. Uh, in that sense, in that case, I really should have... Um, I should have just hit her with the S1. Um, so she's, she has basically almost 100% counter rate. <laughs> and we get hit with one of those. If we get hit with her S3, we're going to die. Um, it doesn't really matter how much evasion you have. You're just going to die. <laughs> so now we get this. So we get to hit her again with this. I don't know if she'll die. Well, we did quite a bit of damage. Wow, she's already on her S3 again. Is she, is she on speed? Is she, what the? How's that even possible? Of course. So this chip damage is actually really bad. We might lose this. <laughs> yeah, I think we're gonna... Okay, she didn't crit. I swear she didn't S3. I'm not sure what, that is, what that's about. Uh, we get to counter. I am getting kind of annoyed by what's going on right now, so we're just going to hit you again. So she's going to revive, and that's fine. <sighs> I didn't get to counter. So we're going to get our health back. Uh, the the scary part about this team mainly is just the fact that... Um, the fact that she has an S3 that can basically just kill us at any moment. Um, like if we're under, uh, so that's the scary part. Other than that, we should be fine. This is a weird, like, this is a weird match here. It was supposed to be free, but I'm like, I turned it, I somehow <laughs> made it not free. Um, lettuce. Should I just kill the Rem? I feel like that's what I want to do. Um, but Rem is just like free counters, so we're just gonna hit you again with this. Hopefully we can kill you. <laughs> Finally. And we're gonna get hit by the S1 from her. And we dodged, so that was good. And we're gonna hit her back. Okay. So we're gonna do this now. Hopefully we're not in S3 range. Okay. Yeah, because her S3 can kill you just instantaneously. It's not even funny. Uh, right now, the most important thing is to get our health back. Because I think we're under the threshold now. So I'm going to just... Actually, I think I'm just going to do this. This will get us some healing, but because she has high defense, uh, we don't get that much healing off of that. Because we're not doing as much damage. We're lowering her health bar by the same, by basically the same amount, but because it's less num numerical damage. And we're just going to keep soul burning this. Um, just because there's no reason not to. Ah, we missed one dodge and the whole thing ended. Uh, so what happened there? I mean, I guess the, the same thing I, I applied in RTA was like, I didn't kill her, uh, the Rem. Um, which I could have, but I just kind of didn't because I was like, okay, well, she'll feed us, uh, Kraus stacks and what's her, and what's the name stacks, but that wasn't how it worked out, so. <laughs> um... Violet had a solo everything. And that was kind of what I was worried about too. I was sitting there like, I should probably bring a healer with this team of these two, um, with Crow and Violet, just to make sure no one gets under the 30%, because then then that's when um, Fighter Maya gets really scary. Um, so let's take a look at this. <laughs> let's actually kind of like this. this looks like fun um i am going to let's see so we're gonna bring in uh our old buddy haste here he is do i want her as the cleanser i guess i'll bring her to cleanse and we're gonna bring you this is kind of actually not what i want because uh the who do I bring? 
Uh, the only reason I'm having a problem with this is that he has 10% damage reduction, but it's be being overridden by her 16% damage reduction because she has adamant. That's not necessarily bad, but you don't want to bring two units that are kind of overriding each other like that. Hmm. Yeah, because I want to bring her to just nuke him and he'll die along with her. But I need I guess I'll I guess I should just bring you, right? Um get rid of all these debuffs. Or maybe him. Okay, I'll well, just leave it like that. So this team down here looks kinda of interesting. I, I guess I'll Usually I bring, um, so this, I would bring this, but obviously because there's water there, this becomes a little trickier. Um, we're going to bring, uh, what's his name? Crow. So she's going to focus on Crow. She's going to focus on these two back here, and then she's going to do whatever she wants to do. Uh... Yeah, hopefully that'll be fine. Um, I don't think this will work out very well, but let's let's find out. Uh, yeah, let's get in there. Okay, so just kind of the way we thought was gonna happen is happening. So ah, she didn't crit like she didn't crit the only one that like would have been nice if she critted. Oh, I just realized I did the same thing, right? Like, the idea was that I didn't want to, like, double lap the, 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 overlap the, uh, <laughs> I didn't want to overlap the, um, what's it called? The damage reduction things, but he, his passive reduces damage and so does hers. <laughs> Either way, I just ended up looking like a fool. Um, we are going to, let's just hit you and get this healing. Let's see if this this guy right here has what does he have? I want to see what Artie he, or what uh, exclusive equipment he has. Okay, so it's just that one. That's fine. Um, I need to get rid of that blind, so we're gonna do this. So we hit him through crit redu reduction, which is pretty good. Okay, so he should die from this. So we're just gonna hit you. Now we get this, we all got immunity, and we're all solid. Okay, our, our biggest problem right now is going to be her, because she has um, dual attacks, and the only one left is RV, and that's not good. get this and then she gets to boost forward and I get this again and he's dead um, yeah so that wasn't too bad just bring a lot of like decently tanky units and a, a cleanser Cause that was kind of interesting the uh, yeah I guess I don't have anyone on this team faster than that so it's not that big a deal okay so let's just hit you. Fortunately, I didn't get any counters off, but that's kind of to be expected. Um, we're gonna see if I can push you back. Hopefully we don't get the ram. Okay, the ram is, we're solid. So we're probably gonna get rammed off of this, but that's fine. Uh, this is kind of suspicious, we're not getting rammed. 8k. So we missed a burn, which is kind of what happened there. Now, would she have died? I'm not entirely sure if she would have died anyway, but still. It's kind of annoying. It is annoying nonetheless. Okay, so she's gonna S3 again. 
I don't because she should miss on the other two, which means that Crow isn't gonna take as much damage, but she didn't, so that's where we are with that. Um again we're just gonna hit you. No one else to hit. Okay. <laughs> Come on, don't we've gone this far without getting remmed. Okay. So what we're gonna do now is I'm just gonna kill Rem with Crow, because he's the only other threat, because He's, right now, Rem is threatening my fires, and um, that's not good. Wow, dude! Ah, <laughs> uh, I don't even know anymore. So we haven't been remmed, so I guess that's our luck, right? The luck is that I didn't kill her with a one-shot, but the other, like... We lost the RNG where I didn't kill her with the one. Oh my gosh, no one's dying. No one dies on this team, apparently. <sighs> so they're all dead, essentially. Um, that wasn't too bad, but it was still pretty annoying losing all this RNG <laughs> randomly. I, I should have seen how much HP. I'll probably check it later on the video, but that was kind of annoying. And she's would she die from this? No. My So I, the main problem, I think, right now is my carrot is missing a lot of uh, attack. She's at 38 and that's not like, oh, like, oh, that's not like super like uber bad, but it's still not, uh, you don't really, that's not what you want. Uh, so we failed one, we saw it, we got to see it on, on video. Um, overconfidence against a, because uh, basically the biggest problem in that team was in fact the, um, was in fact that what's her name uh, that that um i have her fighter maya uh, was in fact the fighter maya um that kind of stomped on us there um she was just doing too many counters and like i didn't have any i, I was supposed to kill her with the with what's his name but i'm kind of stupid and i forgot that like she was going to cleanse one of the burns so i wasn't going to kill her anyway <laughs> um if because if i had killed her with uh kawazu it would have been just Rem and uh, the Paul and the, the the lady, and that would have been fine. But um, Rem and the the healer, and that would have been fine. But you know how it is. Uh, RNG does things to you. Um, so what were we looking at? We were looking at my carrot build. So my carrot build's kind of scuffed, but like I like the stats that she has. I like her speed, her like everything, every, everything except for attack, and probably a little more health is better. I know, like I, I said this before, but I know people like running her on immunity. Um, but you're not getting like no one in like there's not enough people in this game that are just debuffing without stripping first like cerise doesn't care about your immunity um angie f10a um what else those are basically the main ones politis obviously uh hers doesn't strip at, but you don't really see her that much on uh, regular defense and on arena Defense you can kind of prepare you just go in with immunity if you see her there um, But yeah, I don't know for the most part I just don't run her that much uh, on immunity and when you play an RTA or something like that It's like she's not a first pick anymore So you don't have to like prepare for people running uh, a bunch of like a bunch of um, a Bunch of debuffs right because she cleanses one anyway, and that's not too bad You you still bring her into like Cerise because she's gonna cleanse one or you still bring you can still bring her into like um Angelica, uh, new Angelica, because she's going to cleanse one probably. Uh, but she should be back at about 4,000 after, let's see, what, what can we do? Um, 13, yeah, that's pretty good. Uh, this is just effectiveness. I think I could probably, I mean, I could probably change this to attack, but I like the effectiveness where she is. Um, this one right here needs to be changed to defense, but it's hard to lose that much uh, health. Uh, the reason, so the reason you want more health on her than defense is so that when she gets hit and she puts the barrier up, um, the barrier lasts longer because the barrier does not. Let's see, the barrier for one turn, barrier effect, uh, blah, 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 barrier strength increases proportional to, to attack. So her attack stat makes her barrier bigger, and with defense reducing, reducing, reducing damage on that barrier, it makes the barrier even bigger. So you're basically multiplying the barrier by your, you know, defense reduction or whatever. So it's good to have higher defense than it is to have. Uh, higher HP on her uh, because one of the things that with her specifically is like this there's some using units where I don't agree with that mentality of like oh just put defense more defense and and you know more and and you know don't worry about HP so much 
Um, but with her, it's okay because if she's gonna get crowd, it doesn't really matter how much. Like if she's gonna get true damage down, right? Like crow or ML crow or something, it doesn't really matter how much HP she has. She was just gonna die anyway. There's there's no amount of HP you're gonna stack on her that's viable where you're not gonna die. Uh, so it's better to take some of the HP and then dump it into uh, defense. So when she gets her barriers, it's more annoying um, to chip her down. Um, it's already maxed out. That's that's not a very good piece, but I just had it. I think it was like one of the early ones I leveled up for some reason. I don't remember. Um, obviously then this one, so this one I need to, um, if I want to, I'm probably not going to though, cause there's probably better stuff out there, but if I like, you know, if I were to find a better piece than this, I could reforge this and have 65% uh, more attack. And maybe if there was like flat attack on there somewhere, I can get more flat attack. Right. Um, and overall that'd be, that's kind of how it is. And then I also have to reforge this, which gives her more defense. So she should buy, if I were to forge this and this. Probably be around. Uh, well, actually, there's no defense on this. Never mind. Uh, if I were to change this to defense, this flat health, and and um, reforge this, I'd probably be sitting around 1600 defense or something like that. Uh, and theoretically, I kind of want her around um, 13k HP, just because it's a nice number. But uh, obviously, it's not 100% a priority. But the attack really is because not killing Landy's because you don't have enough um, because you don't have enough attack is kind of like defeating the whole purpose of bringing her into Landy. Um, as you saw there, but you know, it, it worked out all right anyway um, But yeah, that, that wasn't the main thing and like I said uh, don't uh, Don't underestimate uh, certain units especially fighter Maya fighter Maya fighter Maya There's a reason like there's a reason everyone has her built right so if you pull a fighter Maya like um Congratulations because she's really annoying. She does a lot of damage um, for a tank She's unkillable and she does a lot of damage. Mine is missing health. Uh, obviously you want to dump a lot into defense, but you still want some health. Uh, so you don't get chunked down so easily. Um, but yeah, like you want a big health pool so that your huge defense can multiply your health pool by a lot. Um, it's kind of what it comes down to. Uh, but yeah, this is my build. Um, 90. She's, she's lacking a bit of uh, crit damage, which is kind of annoying, but other than that, it's fine. You, you do want a little bit of... I don't know why she has effect resistance in her awakenings, because... She cleanses a, a debuff. Like I, I, I hate when they do this because this could have been this could have been effectiveness, and now I'd have 65 effectiveness, which is good against most units, right? Because she does have a taunt right here. Um, so yeah, uh, she she does kind of take a lot of molo because you need this to 100% chance, and then uh, you need you kind of want most damage out of this because she's gonna be countering all the time. Uh, but this you can kind of skip the molo on this because like all the way up to the one turn cooldown. Because this 300 damage, 300% damage multiplier, um, it doesn't really matter how much damage you have. Like, this 20% is going to make a difference because she's just going to murder anything no matter what. Um, yeah, so that's kind of something to consider. Uh, now, sometimes, uh, because she has an extra turn mechanic, like, Arby's are pretty, like, she's pretty good into Arby sometimes. Because even without him being below uh, 30%, you can still just, like, S3 him and he'll die on a one-shot. And then you get your turn and then you just hit Arby when he revives, right? So that's a, that's a reason why you might want that, but yeah, it's up to uh, everyone to to put that. I just don't have the Mola right now to to boost up her S3 when it already does basically everything I needed to. And I've killed I've killed Arby's with this S3 without ha it having full Mola, but sometimes you just you just want to be sure, right? Uh, but yeah, so like I said, that's it for today. We'll leave it on an image of uh, Fighter Maya because <laughs> we we just lost to one. Um, but yeah, so that's yeah, that's about it.